Hey, folks! Welcome to my channel. Today is a special English episode about why Facebook is such a great place for data scientists to work at. The content of this video is very similar to my Chinese version, so if you have seen that video, feel free to skip this one. But the reason I want to do it in English is because one, the knowledge is pretty applicable for English speakers as well, and two, because at the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to announce I'm leaving Facebook, and I want to help my org, my team, to hire my backfill. So I want to reach out to other English-speaking data scientists as well,、uh, because you might be interested after hearing my video. Okay,、uh, let's get to it. So first of all, about the conclusion, Facebook is a great place for data scientists to work at. I know everyone's opinion is biased. But I try to collect a lot of information to be as unbiased as possible. My personal background is、uh, I worked two years at Amazon as an economist, and then moved to Facebook. When I came to Facebook, I was shocked by how important data is in the products. So all the products I see at Facebook starts with data and ends as data. And as data scientist, you really have a lot of say in the direction, strategy. An outcome of these、uh, products, and people actually listen to you. By people, I mean、uh, your cross-functional partners, such as engineers,、uh, PMs, product managers, designers, researchers, and everyone. Like people really respect data, and I really believe the work I do at Facebook as a data scientist creates tremendous value for the product. After this discovery, I start talking to my industry friends who work at different companies, especially the people who join Facebook from other companies and people who leave Facebook and went to other companies. And to my surprise, all the people, whether they came to Facebook from other companies or they left Facebook and went to other companies, they recognize the value of data at Facebook, and they all believe. Uh, Facebook is one of the best places for data scientists to work at. Immediately, we were thinking, okay, is it because、uh, data scientists at Facebook are doing particularly different things? Then we realized it's not the case. In most companies, at least in most tech companies,、uh, we all have good ideas of、uh, what data scientists should do and、uh, what can we bring to the table. But realities at different companies are very different. In some companies, people say we want to have data-driven,、uh, data-driven decisions, but they actually are just paying lip service. And、uh, they are only using data to confirm their opinions instead of changing their opinions. So I went deeper into summarizing what's so special at Facebook、uh, that makes data effective, and I summarized three key points. One is the infrastructure. Two is the culture, and three is the organizational structure. And hopefully, this will help you establish your framework of how Facebook did it. Okay. Without further ado,、uh, let's start. First, infrastructure. Speaking of infrastructure, we have to thank our data engineers.、Uh, at Facebook, I think the ratio of data scientists to data engineer is two to one, and the data engineers made the life of data scientists so easy. When I talk to data scientists at other、uh, companies, depending on the level of infrastructure, they often spend fifty percent to eighty percent of their time trying to clean the data, trying to get the data they actually need before they can do any analysis. But at Facebook. We have specialized data engineers. We also have a lot of tools for software engineers to build the logging and then build the pipeline. So the data, when we want to an analyze, they are right in front of us and、uh, in nice format in the right size. So all the time uh, that uh, other people have to do to clean the data is saved. So we can focus our so data scientists can focus our time in analyzing the important questions. The other side of this infrastructure is、uh, the automatic tools are very advanced. If I want to build a dashboard, I can directly do that after running a query. So if I run a query, I don't need to worry about what machines I'm using. It's all automatic and、uh, elastic. And after I get the results, I can easily share my results, or I can do quick analysis or data visualization, and I can easily copy paste into a dashboard, and it became automatic. So, so one, we can scale our impact because、uh, it's there, it's automatic, it's visualized, so more people can look at it, understand it, and、uh, change decisions based on the data or based on the analysis. And two, we get to automate a lot of our work, a lot of analytics in other companies. Uh, their role is basically getting the data and、uh, support this ad hoc request. At Facebook, 
doing this ad hoc request is really a data scientist's favor to the cross-function teams. They should be able to do most of the ad hoc uh, queries themselves. It's not part of our core requirement. Our core requirement is to th use scientific method to analyze the problem, uh, think strategies, drive the direction of the product, and prior prioritize our team's work. Needless to say, most of this work are way more impactful than those ad hoc queries. Okay, so that is uh, infrastructure. To sum up, it saves us a lot of time to get the data, and it also amplifies our impact by making things automatic. The second thing is about culture. The reason that Facebook has a very strong data culture, I believe, is because Facebook has a very strong edge culture. So engineering culture. If you look at uh, if you look at big tech companies at Silicon Valley, Facebook and uh, Google are probably the two most en engineer driven companies. Uh, but Google moves kind of slowly, and Facebook moves much faster. Uh, so at Facebook, a lot of uh, products are very scrappy, and uh, they start almost like a hackathon. If an engineer has an idea and wants to try, he or she really has the freedom to do so, and uh, they can just uh, start the experiment without uh, many permissions, without jumping through many loops. And uh, then we use data to measure the performance of these experiments and decide which one is better for the users. So it's really this edge-driven culture that makes data powerful because this is kind of a meritocracy, right? And you have to have a standard to uh, to say which one out of your 100 projects is more promising and better for the user uh, than you use data to tell. This also ties back to the infrastructure. At Facebook, A-B testing infrastructure is very advanced and uh, very efficient. Actually, uh, there is a former uh, Facebook VP, Vijay. He started, uh, he started a company called Stasic to try to make Facebook A-B testing infrastructure available to the public. Uh, I'm actually going to interview him and his company in the, in the following weeks. So stay tuned if you want to know more about this. But to sum up my previous point, Facebook has a very strong data culture because it has a very strong edge culture. And uh, to be able to make this meritocracy work, be able to hold people accountable, we really need to find ways to make data speak and the data scientists be the objective voice. So that helps us to build a very strong data culture. And uh, because data scientists has a lot of time to think about products, we also have the ability to do a scientific understanding and a scientific analysis. We also deal with data all the time, so we probably know uh, which part of the product is more impactful and uh, easier to drive. So naturally, data scientists contribute to strategies. Uh, most products start with data, uh, which means uh, we do some analysis pointing out a potential opportunity or something that is uh, a gap and we need to fix. And then we start working on those and ends with data. Uh, we use all sorts of measurement, including A-B testing and including other, like such as retention analysis to uh, say, okay, this is when we reached our potential opportunity and this is uh, a product that uh, uh, this work is actually helping our users. So the culture, uh, data scientists has a lot of say and a lot of uh, influence in products. Then the third uh, thing is the org structure, organizational structure. Uh, at Facebook, the organizational structure is this centralized but embedded structure. Centralized means data scientists report to data scientists and tell very high. So for example, at Amazon, engineers, PMs, designers, uh, data scientists, they all report, they all roll up their reporting chain to a senior manager or to a director. So they report to the same director. But at Facebook, uh, you, data scientists report to data scientist manager who report to data scientist director and then data scientist director, data scientist, data scientist VP. Uh, my reporting chain uh, doesn't merge with an engineer reporting chain and tell Fiji, who is the boss of Facebook app. And engineers also have their own reporting chain. PMs have their own reporting chain. Designers have their own reporting chain. So this is the centralized part of it. This allows us to remain independent, right? Our credibility really comes from us being neutral. Like if I report to a senior manager who is also the single third owner of this product, he or she may not want me to say certain things. If their career is tied to the success or failure of this product, 
I cannot speak ill of this product. But、uh, if my reporting chain is independent, I'm free to say whatever I I feel like is objectively true and also best for the org overall, instead of、uh, just best for the、uh, for the career of this particular PM or this particular engineer manager. And、uh, when we have disagreement, I'm free to escalate to my boss, and then like、uh, the bosses can have their discussions. So I don't have to be strong-handed. Uh, by my、uh, cross-functional partners, I have my own、uh, people to back me up. Meanwhile, I'm also embedded. Embedded means like all the cross-functional team, right? Uh, like uh, get together to work on one product. So, for example, I'm working on the seller team at Marketplace, and we have engineers who work on this. We have、uh, PMs work on this. I work solely on this product, on this area of the product. So I develop my domain expertise of this product, and、uh, I think about this product all the time. So it gives me this product sense and、uh, business sense. So my analysis is ju- not just pure analysis based on math. It's based on my understanding of the product and、uh, my desire to solve problems for this product. So that's the org structure. The centralized plus embedding allows allows us to remain independent, but to also、uh, be invested in the products and have impact on the product. All right. So those are the three reasons I summarize of、uh, why I think data is particularly effective at Facebook. To to balance my opinion, I also try to think about why、uh, Facebook is not a good place for data scientists to work at, and I found two reasons. Uh, one, uh, especially for junior、uh, data scientists, because it's centralized and embedded model, right? You are the data owner of this product, and、uh, your manager cannot help you as much as、uh, other companies. In other companies, it's usually like data is a consultant role, right? And、uh, your manager gets some big projects, and、uh, he or she can handle you a small piece of it, and uh, uh, your manager would know how to how to how to do this. But at Facebook,、uh, data scientists have a lot of、uh, autonomy to do things that they believe are best for the product. But because of that, it also lacks、uh, directions and guidance.、Uh, you need to figure out what you need to do. That may not be very productive for junior data scientists. The second thing is Facebook have been able to attract a lot of、uh, great data scientists, a lot of smart talents.、Uh, It works very well when the product is growing very fast, but in certain areas of the product, it is might be mature. Or then you will have more people than the projects you have, and then you will have very smart people compete with you for those high impact projects、uh, that can create、uh, stress. It's not my personal experience because the product I'm working on is in hyper growth stage. We always have more things to do, but I certainly have heard about this、uh, from other people who work on other products. All right, end of the video.、Uh, this is a recording call. If you are interested in Facebook,、uh, the org I'm working in is Marketplace. Like, if you use Facebook, you probably know Marketplace or use Marketplace. If not,、uh, it is a great place for you to sell your、uh, used stuff,、uh, and、uh, it it is becoming a great place. For small businesses to start their、uh, commerce activities, because it's very easy to set up.、Uh, like Amazon, we don't charge a lot of seller fees, and、uh, there are a lot of buyers、uh, coming to marketplace every day, trying to find products to purchase. So it's a very promising area, and、uh, because I'm going back to China, we need to hire a backfill for my position, and、uh, the org has a lot of open headcounts. So I'm going to、uh, post. The linking of my manager. You feel feel free to reach out to her and、uh, send your resume. She'll be more than happy to refer you to a position. All right, this is the、uh, end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.